Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you the split hand drill. So this drill is uh, really good for um, golfers that tend to get the club over hinged here at the top. It's also really good if you struggle to get a good coil on the left side of the body. Um, and the third thing it really helps with is, is impact. So it'll, it'll really allow you to hit with the shaft and track the ball this way. So the idea is basically that we're just going to split the, the hands on the club. So the right hand's going to go down on the bottom of the grip. So I've got my index finger and thumb on the shaft. So I've got a little gap there. And what I want to make sure is that I still, I still want to have a little bit of bend in the right arm. So I'm going to have to make sure that I, I tilt forward enough from the hips that I get, get that position there. I've got a little bit of bend in the left arm. So the shoulders are going to be a little bit steeper than they normally would be because the right hand's down and under here. So really from here, all, all we're trying to do is just make the first movement is just to be able to set the club here. So when I set the club, I don't want the, the club head to be too high. I'm just letting the club arc around to this position. And then I'm going to lift up. So when I lift the club up, I want to make sure that the shaft stays away from the right shoulder and that's going to allow me to get the coil. So now I can really feel the coil on the upper left arm and left side here. And I've also got a, a nice wide position here. I'm not over hinged in the wrists. So that's the back swing. It's just to, from the back here now, just to set the club this way. So I'm doing it without too much, without too much wrist action. Now I'm just trying to keep the shaft away from the right shoulder, let the arms and the club go up, pull me into a, into a turn, and then I get that curl position of the left side here. So a lot of golfers, they get over hinged and across the line and shot this way. This just drill is really gonna help just to make sure the club stays nice and square, that you're not over hinged in the wrists, and the club won't be crossing the line. So on the, on the downswing, all we're going to do is let the club drop, come into impact, the body's starting to turn, and I'm going to trap the ball this way. So I've still got a little bit of bend in the, in the right arm, so it's going to go, downswing's going to be dropping, now comes the rotation into impact this way, so I'm hitting with the shaft, trapping the ball, and then just letting the club fold up over my left shoulder here. So from the back angle, the downswing's going to look this way, the club will start to drop, It'll start to now come around into an impact, so I'm hitting with the whole shaft. I want to try and feel that my, I've still got some bend in the right arm as I'm, as I'm hitting the ball. So I'm learning to track the ball with the, the whole shaft, the whole club. So any sort of flip at all with the hands, you really feel it with this grip. So it's an excellent grip, excellent drill. You're setting the club, you lift it up, maintaining the, the, the distance from the shaft to the shoulder here. That gives you the coil. And when we're coming down, we're going to try and track the ball with the shaft this way. There's still some bend in the right, the right arm here. Now I can let it fold up over the left shoulder. Another way of doing this drill is just to set the right hand in this position. So I've got a little bit of bend in the right elbow. The palm of the right hand is facing forward. And I just let the club come around into my right hand there. I just let it rotate that way. Then I can just lift up, drop, hit with the shaft. From the front angle, so I'm just letting the club fall into the right hand here. Now I'm going to lift up this way. Now I get my, my coil on the left side, maintaining this distance here. I just let the club drop, just rotate it to impact, hit with the whole shaft, maintain a little bit of bend in the right arm, and then let it fold up. So when you're doing this drill, don't try and hit the ball too far. Just make it a nice compact swing here. Don't have to accelerate too much. We're really just trying to get a feel of, of keeping the club this nice and wide here on the backswing and trapping the ball at impact.